Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Future Stars is, of course, ongoing in FIBA 23, and I think there are some very easy coins to be made with these cards this weekend and even into today on Sunday, but also every single weekend. And what I want to do in today's video is take you guys through how I made a couple hundred thousand coins in just a short time span yesterday. Yes, I do have a lot of coins because I was trading with some big name cards like Mudrick and like Alvarez. But when I explain these market movements to you, it happens with a lot of the lower tier cards as well. Cards that are 300,000 coins, even sometimes cards that are like 50 or 60K. It's all about people that want to try out brand new promo cards on the weekend with Foot Champions demand as people are playing a lot of games on the weekend to play their Foot Champions games and of course just to try out brand new cards which of course with all of the fun and cool cards that we have right now in this game of course not how not often do we get a Mudrick special card or a Julian Alvarez special card people want to go try them out. So it's a really great opportunity here to talk about how to trade with brand new promo cards and how to time these cards on the weekend. It's very hard, but it can be very profitable and rewarding whether you want to try them out in your team or make coins. So I want to talk about that for a bit today and especially the market in general at the moment as a lot of prices are still very, very high. And look ahead to today's content on Sunday. We have two big things to look forward to today. Number one, a mini release. Three more future stars coming to packs. We'll take a look at those. And I have a big, a really big question here. What is EA going to do with this Icon SBC that we have had now for the same, the same Icon SBC for the past couple weeks? It's kind of behind my face cam here. But the 88 plus Prime Mid or World Cup Icon upgrade, we had this during Team of the Year. We even had it the week before, uh, the first week of Team of the Year, right? What are they going to do today or tomorrow to replace this? I do believe, as we normally do on a Sunday or a Monday, we're going to see a new icon or a hero, either pick or SBC for a pack in the next day or two, and we have to look at fodder because of it, because fodder really hasn't moved that much. In fact, it's a tiny bit up from where it was yesterday when we looked at it, just because there's not a lot going on in this game at the moment to move fodder. So we're going to look at all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Now, let me talk you through how I made some coins on these promo cards, because I know every single week we get a new promo, right? Or most weeks. And a lot of people want to go out and try the brand new cards. And I want to take you guys through how to read these cards on a promo weekend. It's not easy. I'll tell you this. And this is some of the most risky ways to trade on this game. But in my opinion, it's some of the most fun. Cards usually get low on a Friday night as people play foot champs. And then before they get off the game, they sell cards. And that is exactly what happened with a couple of these guys yesterday, especially Mudrick. Now, Mudrick was a bit of a weird scenario too, because he got a price range update. So he was extinct. And then people were listing him right to get their money out. He started at 2 million coins, went all the way down one seven. And then right before I went to sleep, he was 1.6 million coins. I bought him actually at 1.58 and I sold him the one you saw on my transfer list. I sold it at 1.72. So I traded with that rarity fluctuation right there. But then this is what it Want you guys to notice look at this big drop off on saturday into the day before we get to the 6 p.m content drop and what you're going to see is this happened with basically all the cards yesterday in the future stars team mudrick goes from 1.7 mil down to 1.2 and then goes back up to 1.45 julian alvarez is another card you saw on my transfer list i bought julian alvarez at 1.6 million coins i bought him too early yesterday i bought him right around here before he went to 153 he was 1.6 mil i thought man he's down 25 percent at 1.6 mil from where he was at like 2.3 million coins i'm gonna buy that card because that's too cheap and it was he ended up going lower but i sold right here around the content drop time when content wasn't that great yesterday he rebounded back up and he hit a high price. Now you're like, Nate, you've just shown me two very expensive cards. What if I only have a couple hundred thousand coins? Well, take a look at Vitinha, right? PSG links. Again, notice what we're looking at here. The cards that are the most popular and the most hype, right? Vitinha 370 dropped all the way down to content at about 319, 320. I mean, probably right here, you would have been able to get him at about 310 as well on a sniper on a bid. Shoots right back up to 330, 340, and now is back down again at a lower price. But you see all the fluctuations in here, right? The more a card moves like this, the more opportunity you have to make coins. So it's all about timing the drops. And what you see with a lot of these drops is People are trying these cards out on the weekend, and a lot of times you see these cards drop on Saturday during the day, heading into content. People fear that there's going to be more packs and more lightning rounds run on Saturdays, which is the truth. There is, but also at the same time, people are finishing the weekend league, and they sell these cards off because they're done using them because they got their games in, but you oftentimes see big-time undercuts and selling because so many people see the price going down, they undercut even further, and 
you know, it just drives the price down even lower sometimes when it gets too low. So what I really want you guys to watch out for, whether it's an expensive card like the Alvarez or the Gavardi Gold was kind of a weird one yesterday where he had like a couple hours where he spiked up crazy high but then came right back down. So that kind of threw his graph off for the rest of the day. But like we saw with the Vitinha or the Adiemi, a lot of these cards, you can really time a good buy point sometime on a Saturday. If you want to try them out for your team, usually we see a big drop off like this on a Saturday. Even if the cards start out really cheap on Friday, um, usually Saturday you see a bit of a drop off and you have a great opportunity to buy them and to flip them. So the biggest tip I would give you is watch out for drops. Whenever a card is dropping like that on a Saturday, or maybe even it's a Friday night, watch out for drops that are 15% or more and footbin can help you out figure out or you can do the math yourself like how big the drops are right if you go on footbin if you click on a specific card it shows this on mobile as well um it's a bit harder to find on mobile but you can see it on the desktop it's right below my face cam here right you can see right now mudrick is down 13 percent i think this is in the past four hours right mudrick a couple hours ago was 1.45 mil and right now he is now even lower than that. He's, he's down 200,000 coins, which is down like 13 to 14%. I'm looking at this Mudrick right now. I know that he's really rare. I think he could have another bounce back up again. He's lower than he was even yesterday, 1.28 to 1.46. I don't expect him to go all the way back up to 1.46. Could he go back to 1.39, 1.38? Absolutely, as I'm looking at this card right now on the market, he's being pretty he's pretty rare. There's not a lot of them there to one point. Uh, 4 million coins, but I need some of the relists to keep coming in. I need the price to drop down a little bit lower and I need the listings to stop. It's all about timing with these cards, but if you see a card down 20% specifically, 15 to 20% or more, that should be like, okay, this card is down a lot in a four hour time span, especially if it's rare, popular, and meta, it's probably gonna bounce back. So Saturday midday and into the content drop on Saturdays are great times to look at brand new promo cards to either try to buy them for a quick flip or to just try them to go, maybe you're going to play games on Saturday for Weekend League. You know, usually Saturdays, like we saw yesterday, was not a very exciting day of content. So a lot of these cards had rebounds back up, like we saw Mudrick 1.28 all the way above that. So it's risky, but it's fun because these cards are rare as they drop on the game on the weekend and people are playing foot champs and they want to try them out. So I'm looking at these cards again right now. Usually it doesn't happen as well in Sundays. Um, you don't see as many movement. Usually the biggest movement you see is from the Friday night into the Saturday. And I think that's just because as we get further and further along in the weekend, more people have finished off their games and they're not playing as much but champions, there's not as much demand for these cards and they get supplied more in the market. So I'm being very, very careful. I know I just mentioned flipping Mudrick, um, but you know, I'd have to see his price drop down a little bit more, even from where he is right now, to want to try to trade with that one there. So that's kind of the scenario with these cards. We can talk a lot about this and it gets really technical because you have to look at certain specific things on the market and we talk about it a lot on stream. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys some pointers on if you want to try a new card for your team, from a brand new promo team, really watch their prices on Saturdays. If you leave any of your weekly games for then, definitely keep an eye there because you see a nice big drop off in price. And of course, if you bought Alvarez at 2.2 million coins and then ended up selling him at 1.6 where he is now, that hurts a lot more than if you would have bought Alvarez when he was low at 1.5, 1.6, went and tried him out, and now he's back down. Well, okay, you're losing the tax amount instead of 500K plus the tax. So that's why I wanted to kind of put that out there and talk about that. And also, if you want to time the market right, you can make a lot of coins. So speaking of today on Sunday, though, we'll talk about these cards a little bit more just in a second. But let's talk about content in terms of what's happening today let's kind of shift the focus towards that and while doing that we'll just talk about yesterday really fast yesterday we did end up getting the player pick what's a dual potential ea called this for vanderson the brazilian right mid right wing or right back and to be honest I don't think we can complain too much about this SBC just because it is dirt cheap. The card options don't look that amazing. Uh, there's more upvotes on the right back version of Vanderson for the 91 pace, the 84 defense, and the 88 physical. He's three-star, three-star, medium, medium work rates. Um, 
Honestly, guys, I think either one of these, whatever one your team needs more is, is the way that you should go. If you're going to do this SBC, it's because it's something that you want in your team and it's not expensive. It's only 65,000 coins to do. So I love that from EA, but that's about how much the card looks like. He'd be worth on the market as well. Not super amazing, but a nice budget Brazilian right mid or right back, I guess, wherever you want to play him in game. Here's my take on this. I think the better card is the right wing card. I think you get, of course, the better pace. You get the four star, four star, the better work rates, high, medium as well. The better dribbling stats, including composure and reactions. You just have worse defending and physicality stats. And if you just end up putting an anchor chemistry style on this right mid or right wing version who can still play right back by the way the new thing that ea is doing this year with like position changes it kind of just kind of nullifies the whole idea of this uh player pick for the dual potential because the guy can still play the same positions either way so you know i would take this card with the better work rates throw an anchor chemistry style on him to boost the defending stats a little bit and um especially if you're going to play a three back this guy at the right mid would be a really really good option so I think that's the way that I would go with it. But of course, if you want the true and true defender, then definitely this right back card would be the one that you could, you can, he goes to lengthy with an architect. So if you really want that as well, you could get him to a lengthy card. So anyway, 60,000 coins, there wasn't that much content yesterday besides that and a token SBC. So that's why we saw the market move kind of like it did with those bounce backs after content and a lot of healthy movements on the market there. Now let's talk about today because we know we are getting a mini release today on Sunday. EA posted it on their website. These are the three players, Cherokee, Sanchez, and Vandevin. I think I butchered the, the Spanish guy's name, Sanset, Sanset. That's his name. He scored like a hat trick over the weekend as well. So he's getting himself a future stars card. Vandevin is an 85 center back. I believe his base silver card is like 80 pace or something. That might be a, maybe like a cheap beast to watch out for. And then Cherokee, right? A lot of people are really excited about Cherokee. Five star, five star in the league one. Lacazette is the number one invested card to link to this guy today. So definitely keep an eye out for him. The stats look okay he's probably going to end up being pretty overpriced just like a lot of the rest of the team was but this guy is going to be in packs today so watch out for that it's going to be one of the biggest parts of our sunday content that we will see in this game today now also today we have a leak there's only one sbc leak right now and that is this one flashback walcott um interesting right pace uh english Premier league links could be a pretty nice card ea would have to juice it up pretty nice hopefully they do that uh, this is kind of like a fifa legend and uh it's honestly like one of those guys where if you you know at least for me i was like walcott's still playing i didn't entirely know that so there is an sbc uh that might be coming today it might not also drop him for a couple days from now again the flashbacks during team of the year were on tuesdays we're probably off that normal schedule because team of the year is over but you know that's kind of just uh another Another SBC that's pretty cheap, but also, you know, kind of fits where EA seems to be going right now with a lot of the content. A lot. Think about SBCs we've had recently. Fofana has been really cheap. Uh, the Vanderson yesterday was really cheap. Fabio Vieira wasn't that expensive. And now this Walcott card looks to be a decently priced or at least low enough rated to be decently priced as well. So definitely watch out for that SBC today and watch out for your English links. Uh, I'm kind of bummed that my um, Harry Kane um, honorable mentions card already sold. I mean, it sold for a crazy lazy buyer, but the fact that this already sold is bumming me out a little bit because I just feel like this could be the type of card that would go up a little bit today. Some of your English links in the Premier League for sure could see a boost if uh, this Walcott card has a lot of pace, if he's really cheap, and if he has a pretty good stat boost. So if that drops today, you could see something along those lines happening. Uh, and then of course, with the talk about the Icon SBC or whatever sort of gamble pack SBC would replace this 88 plus that is in here right now that is expiring today. Um, guys, it's been a while since we had a hero pick. And what we have not seen yet is a World Cup only hero player pick. And I feel like that's the next step. I mean, EA has been really dropping a lot of icon packs, which is nice. This was the first SBC we had that had primes available in it. That was really nice. Maybe they'll do something that's like prime or world cup upgrade. That could happen as well. But I mean, we haven't had a hero player pick in a hot minute either. So either another icon upgrade or a hero pick, I do believe is going to be coming today or tomorrow. Again, EA has been on the Sunday release for those here recently. But of course, every time we have an SBC like that, we have to talk about SBC fodder. And in yesterday's video, I was like, guys, maybe we wait a little bit to buy fodder. But since content yesterday was so quiet and there wasn't a lot of 
Probably wasn't a lot of packs being opened either. Fodder prices are just up slightly, not that much. Like last night, 84s were 4K, now they're 4.3. You can probably still win these guys on bid at 4K. We've got squad battle rewards that are going to be paid out today. So that might bring a little bit of supply to the market. If we do get an icon pack or some sort of hero player pick today, fodder will start moving up. And the reason I really think that these prices didn't drop off as low as we really wanted them to, like I was hoping 84s would go to 3.5K. I was hoping 85 would even go to 10k or below they really just didn't but i think that's again because we have so many sbcs that are still available right now and ea is dropping more player sbcs uh like the viera the vanderson of course we've got the player of the month like rashford we still have Jorginho. we're trying we have so many sbcs that are out right now um and that's pulling people's fodder into those sbcs and people are doing those because they are on the game so i think if you have not bought fodder yet try to get on some bids today and i do believe the 84s to the 86s are still a really good club stock. I do. I think it's going to go up, even though the prices are already inflated. It's like, Nate, why would I buy um, a Delict card? You know, keep an eye on your 85s because some of your 85s have max price ranges of like 17K. And if you're buying an 85 rated card at 13,000 coins and it can only go to 17K, there's not a lot of upside there, uh, although there's not really that much downside either with all the other SBCs that we have out. Maybe in that case, you look at 86s who have a higher price range, maybe of like 30,000 coins. Uh, so, you know, that sort of thing. Anywhere between 84 and 86 rated today, I think is pretty good. Your higher rated fodder, yes, it could see a bump uh, in value as well. The only way that fodder goes lower today is if EA do not re-release the 88 plus icon or do not release any sort of other icon pack. And there's like no content today, maybe just like Walcott and the guys in packs and there's no icon upgrade or hero player pick. Then fodder would probably drop lower today on Sunday and it would be a really good buy opportunity as we would probably then have a big SBC like that on a Monday. So that's the only thing to watch out for with fodder. But at some of these prices, the way that they are right now, 84s, 85s, maybe 84s and 86s I like the best personally. Uh, I think Zidane is expiring today as well. I know we keep mentioning that, but Zidane today is going away. So watch out on your 91s because that's going to be some demand that will be pulled back from those as well. Those might drop down a bit. Uh, so, yeah, the fodder market's looking very interesting right now as I do believe we'll see prices rise during the week this week. But it's not like they've really gotten that cheap over this weekend as well, kind of like we were hoping that they would, although it does make sense why they have not gotten there. So keep a close eye on that today. If you want to get in, in and invested, at least a little bit of a club stock, it is not a bad time at all to get involved with some of that. Now, speaking of the market today as well, I wanted to talk a little bit more about some of these future stars and uh, because... A lot of times on Sundays, you see the future stars or whatever promo is um, out at the moment. Wow, Mudrick is 1.2. Yeah, I think I'm buying one of these tonight, boys, because um, I think in the next couple of hours, he's going to rebound back up into the 1.3s because we only have two pages of this guy up into the 1.3s. 1 1.2, that's pretty crazy. There's only a couple overnights as well at 1.4, and he's got all the hype. He got a really good inception review yesterday. That matters, right? You see an overnight here at 1.379. That's kind of how I value is a card going to go up over. What's kind of the ceiling for a card like this? I would look at like 1.38 to 1.4 being the ceiling is that there's a lot of other Mudricks listed overnight at 1.4. He may not even go that high, but... You know, a lot of time on Sunday, you see cards from the current promo team get really low and then rise back up on Monday after the weekly rewards are paid out. I think that sort of scenario would absolutely be happening again this week. So keep an eye on guys like Adiemi, Vitinha, Gavi, Gavardiol. Watch all of these cards today on Sunday because I do believe there'll be an opportunity to trade with them, buying them at some point today, maybe later in the day, maybe even tonight late, and then selling them tomorrow on Monday, maybe even on Tuesday, depending on the content we get today, the price may drop around content if we get a really good SBC. Um, but you know, that's kind of a timing thing as always, but keep a close eye on these cards. If there are any of them that you want for your team, because I do believe there will be opportunities to buy them on Sunday today and sell them tomorrow on Monday, or maybe even Tuesday and make some profit off of that, or at least have a card in your team to use and uh, not be losing coins on it. So I'm going to keep a close eye on this Mudrick because for me right now, he has dropped off the most. Um, I mean, I got he was 1.45. We talked about it for a while, right? So these guys have hype. I know we talked about the reactions, the composure not being that good. Wow. Like, look, 1.2 million coins when he was, I literally sold him at 1.7 yesterday. So we're going to keep a close eye on this. 
and uh, hopefully he can go back up another 100, 150K and we will make some coins off of that. But a lot of market talk in today's video because that's kind of where the action is right now. And of course, a lot of us are trying to build up our coins post team of the year where we spent a lot of our coins. Right now is a great time to do it with the market being as high as it is. A lot of opportunities to make coins we'll be talking about throughout the rest of this week how that could happen. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Happy Sunday. Good luck with your weekly games. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.